15 things you didn't know about Panasonic. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about one of the most successful Japanese electronics companies ever, Panasonic. Panasonic was founded in 1918 as the Matsushita Electrical Housewares Manufacturing Works by Konosuke Matsushita. Matsushita used his innovative spirit to expand the company from offering one simple product to producing a number of quality electrical products in a short amount of time. Although the company was devastated by war, Matsushita's leadership drove the company to rebuild into an even stronger and more successful company. Matsushita's spirit continues to drive the company as his work ethic, dedication to quality and forward-thinking nature is the basis of all their business operations. Now 100 years after its founding, Panasonic is a multi-billion dollar company that offers a wide range of electronic goods, including cameras, televisions, audio equipment, home theaters, phones, and more. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We are inspired by Panasonic's long history, ability to adapt, incredible success, and forward-thinking nature. So, it's time to take a closer look at this multinational electronics corporation with the 15 things you didn't know about Panasonic. Number 1. Panasonic started as a seller of light bulb sockets. Although today Panasonic is known the world over as a multifaceted electronics company, it had a very simple beginning. In 1918, the company was founded by Konosuke Matsushita and it only had two other employees, his wife and his brother-in-law. Its only venture at the time was selling light bulb sockets. In 1927, production expanded into bicycle pumps, followed by light fixtures, motors, electric irons, and vacuum tubes. Number 2. Panasonic Built Ships and Airplanes in World War II During the Second World War, Panasonic switched their focus to supporting the war effort. This led to Panasonic setting up shipbuilding and plane building sectors, but it proved to be difficult since nobody at the company had any experience in these areas. However, they did successfully produce 56 wooden ships and three wooden aircraft during the war. However, Panasonic suffered many losses during the war, including 32 factory and office facilities and about 11,000 staff members. Number 3. The company was not called Panasonic until 2008 Panasonic was called the Matsushita Electrical Industrial Company from 1935 to October 2008. Panasonic was first used as a brand name in 1955 for audio speakers. The Panasonic name was created out of a combination of the words pan and sonic, which the company says has the meaning of bringing the sound the company creates to the world. Number 4. Panasonic and Tesla are business partners in July 2014, Panasonic announced that it had made an agreement with Tesla to participate in a massive battery plant called the Gigafactory that Tesla plans to build in the US by 2020. The plan is estimated to cost $5 billion, and it's expected that it will result in reducing Tesla's battery costs by 30%. Panasonic announced its initial investment in Tesla Motors' battery factory would amount to tens of billions of yen. Number 5. Universal Studios Once Belonged to Panasonic In 1990, Panasonic purchased an American media company called the Music Corporation of America, or MCA, for $6.59 billion. Five years later, 80% of MCA was sold to Seagram Company for $7 billion, and the name was changed to Universal Studios. Today, Universal Studios is a part of NBC Universal, which is owned by Comcast. Number 6. Panasonic is one of the biggest supporters of the Olympic Games. Panasonic has been one of the top sponsors of the Olympic Games ever since the 1988 Calgary Olympics. 
In 2008, Panasonic's HD equipment made the first Olympic Games with full HD official coverage possible. At the 2016 Rio Games, Panasonic provided 115 projectors, which were used during the opening ceremony. They also provided 10,000 surveillance cameras and various broadcasting equipment for the Sochi 2014 Winter Games. These are just very small samples of everything Panasonic does to support the Olympics. Number 7. They first expanded to the U.S. market in 1961. Konosuke Matsushita traveled to the United States for the first time in 1961, and he had a very successful trip where he met with the American dealers and established agreements that would allow his move to the U.S. market. The company began producing television sets for the U.S. market shortly after, under the brand name Panasonic, and later on, starting in 1979, Panasonic TVs were sold in Europe as well. The company sold products under the national brand outside of North America from the 1950s to the 1970s. However, national could not be used to sell products in the U.S. due to the existence of the national radio company. Number 8. The Panasonic Toughbook Claims 50% of the Rugged Laptop Market Toughbook is a brand name owned by Panasonic that refers to its line of rugged computers. The Toughbook is designed to withstand vibrations, spills, drops, extreme temperatures, and rough handling. Toughbooks are widely used in a variety of industries, including military, construction, healthcare, law enforcement, manufacturing, oil, and emergency services. In fact, Panasonic claims 50% of the so-called rugged laptop market with this one product alone. Number 9. Panasonic Built the World's Largest High-Def LED Screen Panasonic built the largest high-definition television LED screen at the Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas in 2014. The world record-breaking screen is 20,614 square feet with display dimensions of 94.5 feet by 218.4 feet. The video board's nickname is the Big Haas TV, and it consists of nearly 4.8 million pixels and displays 281 trillion colors. It's actually bigger than two jumbo jets put together. The screen is used to display live race coverage, leaderboard information, instant replays, and interactive entertainment. Number 10. Panasonic Invented a Tomato Harvesting Robot Panasonic's newest robot was introduced in December 2017 at the Robot Exhibition in Tokyo. The robot has been designed to use its camera, range image sensor, and artificial intelligence to only pick soon-to-be-ripe tomatoes that are ready for harvesting. This task was previously thought to be too delicate for a robot to handle without damaging the sensitive fruit or picking up undesirable tomatoes, but the Panasonic robot proved it was up to the task. Panasonic also claims it can match human efficiency by harvesting 10 tomatoes every minute. If you're interested in robots, be sure to click in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of the 10 most expensive robots in the world. Number 11. Panasonic is the 97th most valuable brand in the world. Panasonic just made it into the top 100 of Forbes' most valuable brands list. The company comes in at number 97 between Walgreens and Nivea. The Panasonic brand is valued at $6.9 billion. Number 12. A Stone Monument Marks Where Panasonic Was Founded In November 2004, on the 110th observance of the birth of the Panasonic founder Konosuke Matsushita, a stone monument was unveiled that marks where the 23-year-old Konosuke founded the Matsushita Electric Housewares Manufacturing Works, which later became Panasonic. The stone monument is located in Ohiraki, Japan, in Osaka's Fukushima Ward. The monument is 1.8 meters high and 2 meters wide, and is inscribed with the Japanese character for The Path, as written by Konosuke himself. Number 13. Panasonic is the title sponsor for the new Jaguar Formula E team. At the beginning of 2016, Jaguar announced that it would be joining the all-electric Formula E racing series, and nine months later, it was announced that Panasonic would be their title sponsor. The official name for the racing team is Panasonic Jaguar Racing. The team's car is a Jaguar I-Type 1, and of course, large Panasonic logos can be seen on it from every angle. Number 14. 
The founders of Panasonic and Sanyo were brothers-in-law. After World War II, Panasonic founder Konosuke Matsushita set about trying to refocus and rebuild his company. Meanwhile, his brother-in-law Toshio Lu founded Sanyo as a subtractor for components. The two companies became competitors in the same market, but long after the two founders had passed away, the companies merged when Panasonic bought Sanyo in December 2009. Toshio Lu was one of the three original employees of the Panasonic company. Number 15. Panasonic set a record with their Evolta batteries. In 2015, Panasonic set a Guinness World Record for the longest distance traveled by a vehicle on a railway track powered by dry cell batteries. In an attempt to demonstrate the strength and durability of their Evolta batteries, Panasonic powered a small train solely with 600 of their batteries, and it traveled 14.05 miles before running out of power. The two-hour, 36-minute train ride took place in Akita, Japan, and the train was built by 13 local high school students. Now that you've learned some more about Panasonic, we'd like to know, do you think the company will experience more success or less success in the coming years in the fast-paced electronics industry they find themselves in? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. In 2014, in an effort to attract more workers to its Chinese operations, Panasonic offered to pay expats hazard pay to compensate for the chronic air pollution they are subjected to as they work in the heavily polluted environment. China has the world's worst air pollution, with over 3 million deaths per year being attributed to the toxic air. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.